I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. ...are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have these tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. They make the stop at about the 43-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. Picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Here's a handoff, left side. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. Knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That'll make it third and five. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. It's up. Looks long enough. And he splits the uprights. Line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. It's first down, 15 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Here we go. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. Downing gets six yards after taking it himself. Taken down at the 29-yard line. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for us. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. That's a game of three on the way. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. Man up, man up, man up. Ready, check, three, 95. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From midfield, first down. Texas holds a field goal lead. And they hit him in the backfield. 
You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. down and they need to get it inside the 40. He lets it go. They can't connect. Incomplete. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth down and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Oh, excellent punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. He passes it, and he went way up, and he's got the interception. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. Texas is up by three. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. No game. That makes it second and ten. And down he goes, around the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up fourth and nine. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Caught in a big hit, he's stopped in his tracks. That makes it second and six. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 26. Across the middle. Oh, what an interception. He's at the 40. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. 
from the 36 yard line. First down. Texas up six. Rose incomplete, knocked away. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands after one. Six nothing. Longhorn. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Here we go. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. No good on the play. That makes it second and 10. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. Here we go! And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Kicks up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And for Downey, it's been a night of struggle. Well, at this point, taking care of the football has to be their number one priority. If they want to get back in this game, if you can't take care of the ball, you just have no chance. We'll see if the defense can keep making life unpleasant for him. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. He airs it out. In the air. It's intercepted. Tackle at midfield. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. From the 50, it's first down. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 13. Has some daylight. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 50-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 16-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me? In college football today, with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed three, and space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Yeah, 
But I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Pass complete and taken down immediately. And he throws it away. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Longhorns right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack them. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Got some open field. He makes his way to about the 32. Makes it out to about the 16. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Pick up. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Running the option on third down is perhaps a risky call, but the defense didn't look totally prepared for it, and they gave up the first down yardage. He is drilled at the three-yard line. The Longhorns call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the three-yard line, it's second down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Loss of two on the play. That makes it third and goal. Tenth play of the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Get to that quickly. Touchdown, Longhorns. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 62-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. Now 
now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. It's on the ground. It's scooped up. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And a quick throw. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Fires it out. Brought down around the 27-yard line. Quick throw, and he's got the halfback again. Passes to the back, incomplete. Johnson says he's intended to see on the play. That makes it second and From the 21-yard line, second down. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Number 30 on the tackle at the 10-yard line. Fourth down. Kicks away, and it is good. Well, we're headed to the half, and this game is getting out of hand. Texas leads 26 to nothing. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes, doo -doo 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 -doo. that's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. Davis and Pollock, you should be here instead of Herb Street and myself. Second half just about ready to begin. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Scrambling around. And he can't get away from the pressure. 
was the intended receiver on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Jamison fields it at the 42, brought down at the 45-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Texas up big right now in this one. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That makes it second and six. From the 41 yard line, second down. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Seven-yard loss on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Mike 13, Mike 13. Three. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's at the 40, and down he goes around the 39-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. This will just add insult to injury. The kick is up. No good. He missed it to the right. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. You know, the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way, he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Pressured and brought down. That is a loss of seven yards on the play. Third down. He guns it. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. We're about set to start things up again. Texas is winning big. They'll bring him down at the 39. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. He's at midfield, and he's taken down around the 46-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Here's an opening. 
makes it to the 37. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The Horn Frogs saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. They'll knock him down for a loss. This is a big time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Texas looking to add to this big lead here. Complete. He's got room. Tackle at the 14. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 14-yard line, first down. Throws a bullet over the middle, and he's level at the six. It's the ninth play of the drive. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. That makes it first and goal. So with one quarter remaining, Texas leads 26 to nothing. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Tackle made around the one yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the one. Texas looking to build on this commanding lead here. Stop behind the line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Texas! So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 12 play, 61 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Longhorns have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. 
Finds his man. First down. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. That's a D 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Hey. Hey. Caught out in the open. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. Brown makes the set goal at the 49-yard line. First down. Mike six. Mike six. Here we go. Here we go. And they got him. They need to run some screens and some quick slants to try to take advantage of this pursuit because this defense is coming after him. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So the sack makes this third and very long. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Jamison is the deep man awaiting the return. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. They give to the tailback. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Set, 180, He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. And he's tackled at the 33. Yeah, the defensive coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. The defense wants to dig in here to avoid any letdowns. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And, Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. Set, 
A little over a minute in the game. Quick throw. And that just might do it. Intercepted. When it rains, it pours. Are you kidding me? An interception? You're already getting blown out? There's no chance to come back now. From the 49-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.